In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create clip coupon discounts in Vendor Central. Hey, this is Nick Hodge with Sellers Arena, and I think this is a really awesome video that I'm about to make for you guys because there's just not a lot of content out there in Vendor Central. And this is one of my favorite strategies that we use for our clients to help increase click-through rate, conversion rate on listings, make ad spend more efficient. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. So we'll jump right into how to set up a coupon in Vendor Central here in a second. But first, I want to mention if you want to learn more about the strategy, I kind of went over that in the last video I did, which I'll link down in the description below where I went over how to create coupons and the strategy behind coupons in Seller Central. But real quickly, I mean, just to go over one more time, the idea is to improve conversion rate, improve click through rate on your listing. So when they're scrolling through, you know, they see, okay, here's a guy with a coupon. So it kind of helps stand out, especially if you're trying to launch a product or if you're newer, or if you're just trying to get your rank up, help your PPC convert better, make a better use of your ad spend, things like that. But that said, if you are someone who sells in Vendor Central, maybe you're newer or maybe you're been hands off because a lot of people in Vendor Central, they're more hands off. So you probably maybe you're not sure exactly how to set it up. So let's go ahead and jump in right now. I'm in the Vendor Central platform and we'll go to merchandising and we'll go to coupons. First option there. And we have some old coupons set up there but we'll go ahead and go to create new coupon and now you have two options here and we're going to go through both here in a second the first option is just to create one coupon at a time for a specific product and you can just do them one at a time the second option is to create coupons with a spreadsheet and we'll go over that too and this can really help out if you want to set a lot of the same types of coupons up for a lot of products at the same time and then a different type of coupon with maybe a different percent off for our, another group of products all at the same time so yeah we'll go into that in a second but let's look at the basic one if you just have one product you want to get set up and get going that's how we'll do this first thing you're going to do is and here it says create single coupon so this first part is just, what is this? Your text identifier on Vendor Central. So you're just gonna put in something to help identify the campaign in Vendor Central. So we'll just call this test product, okay? Now the website display name, basically you wanna just describe what the product is. First, let's look at the uh, listing here. So, I mean, it's automatically just gonna show something like this on the listing and you don't have much control over that, but on the coupons page so you have like a little bit of room to put in a description of what the product is you have about 43 characters here i believe from doing my character counter i would suggest sticking to 43 characters as a short description of what the product is going back here they don't give any rules or anything about what the what you can and can't say here but again if they're already over on the deals page um, you kind of just want to be clearer about what it is. Okay, it's already saying save up to 20%. Make sure they know what they're clicking on this for. Okay, so we'll go ahead and enter our product name here to show on the coupons deals page. So we'll just say black kitchen knife set. Okay, and we'll pick a start date. And here's the cool thing about Vendor Central is you can make this up to as far as a year out so that's a really cool thing in seller central you can only do 90 days here you can set this coupon just to run for a whole year and forget about it okay so now you have the option to set it up for a percentage off or fixed amount off like i talked about in the other video we like to do a fixed amount dollar amount off so for example we could do two dollars and or three dollars off whatever it is you can think about that percent off you want to give and then translate that into dollars so you can make it easier for the shoppers to understand exactly what kind of discount they're getting because people don't like to do math people are busier than ever these days if there's any kind of hesitation that could cause them to just not understand the deal and move on now if it's a bigger 
percent off, like 50 percent or something like that. That's obvious. That'd be a wild discount to do. But again, if that's something built into your strategy, if you're doing like a launch or something, it could be you're doing 50 percent off. But that's very easy to understand as my point. They know exactly what they're getting or even 40 percent that's a large discount i mean that's almost half off so it's easy to do the math in their head once you get into 30 20 percent range it's kind of debatable you can do some testing to see what works best for your product and your category so we'll just go ahead and do a fixed amount for this example we'll stick two dollars off and we can set it for one redemption per customer so as soon as they redeem it I can't go back and buy it again, you know, a week from now and get it again. You could make it to where there's only a subscribe and save type coupon to where it's just an incentive to get them to subscribe. Okay. So again, it's one redemption so they can then get your product repeatedly on that schedule. And just to give you an idea of what that looks like, if you look through these coupons here, we'll go ahead and hop into... Okay, so this one says discount on first order only. See all coupons. So if we're looking at these breakfast foods here, for example, something you might do a subscribe and save on, you get discount on first order, subscribe and save. Okay, so you've got that. And so if we actually click on this one, yeah, it's gonna show you on your first subscription, only on the one eligible item on your first subscription. Okay, so that's how that would work in the subscribe and save only option. And of course, you're going to set a budget. Now for this, generally you want to set this up so you don't run out. If the budget runs out, the coupon will end. Okay, so you want to make sure you set up a high budget. Unless it's really a concern, you want to make sure you only spend so much, then you want to tone that down a little bit. And to add to that, the budget is actually based on the redemption fee, which is 60% per redemption, plus the amount of the discount. That is the budget. That's what's going to be counted in that budget as they clip the coupons. It's that redemption fee plus the actual discount amount. So say, for example, it's $2 off. It'd be $2.60 per redemption. So you can factor that into that. If Say we did set a $1,000 budget. If that budget, if you're doing it for a whole year, that may not be enough of a budget to, so you're going to, have to kind of calculate kind of the sales rate that you're expecting, the amount of clip coupons. And you can also monitor this. And if it ends, you can just start a new one. Generally, what we see is people will set up a strategic time period, like over a week or a weekend or a certain uh, holiday, for example, like prime day, prime week or Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and you can kind of ballpark that budget. So we could do $1,000, or if we just wanted to be a really make a really high budget, we could do 10 k or something like that, and maybe a shorter time period, like for just a couple days. But for this example, we'll just do something really high, like $10,000, and we'll say for the whole year. And we'll just plan on, in this case, revisiting, and checking it and to see if it's ran out or not and how many clip coupons there have been. Okay, so continuing on the next step after that and make sure you select your billing contact for this. Okay, okay so in here you'll just select the product or products that you want to set this up, this coupon up for. I said it was for one product, but really you can enter a whole group of products, but it's gonna be only one coupon for that set of products. And if you wanted to, again, create a separate one, you would have to go through the process again to create up a separate scenario. All right, so in this case, we'll just pick the first one here and continue on the next step. And I noticed one little detail here. I wanna make sure if it is on a website, for example, I wanna cap the first letter of each word. So one cool thing here as you're reviewing, you can go up here and go to edit coupon details go back and we can just fix that really quick okay oops and we'll do double s there boom and again continue on the next step i've already selected the product continue on the next step again review and we're good to go once you're satisfied go ahead and just submit coupon campaign and 
you're all set. And also this gives you a kind of a, a preview of how it's gonna show up. Okay, so again, it's gonna give you details, subscribe and save. This is not exactly how it's gonna show up, but it's giving you a, a rough idea. Okay, it's, it's an actual coupon image may differ on the website. And as we can see from looking over on the coupons page, uh, we can kind of see what that kind of looks like, what it may end up looking like over here. So for example, like this, all right. So now I wanna go into the different way to set this up using the spreadsheet. Now, this is a little bit more powerful because you have this option here. You can set up the standard coupon and I'll go over that briefly, but it's basically just gonna allow you to do the same thing you did here in bulk. Again, set up multiple different types of coupons for different groups of products. But this example here is a completely separate spreadsheet that they'll let you download to work on specifically to set up reorder coupons only. Select these coupons to create reorder coupons. These coupons to encourage customers to reorder previous purchases by providing targeted discounts, okay? What this can do is basically, you know, you can get the customers into the habit that may not want to subscribe and save, but you know, maybe they come back on and they see that you have a discount now for something they ordered previously. Okay, so it's obviously a product they like and you're trying to get them to buy it again kind of develop that habit of buying from you. So you're kind of incentivizing. That's one strategy. You could have this type of coupon set up specifically for people only that have bought before, whereas you can have other types of coupons set up to where it may be available all the time, or you can have coupons set up through the standard coupon route to where it's just one redemption per customer, one time only, or subscribe and save incentive. In this case, we'll talk about the reorder coupon and how to set those up in bulk. Let's start with the standard coupon spreadsheet though. We'll go through that really quickly. Pull up the Excel file here. So for the standard, again, it's pretty simple. It's basically just like the one time only, but you do have a one extra option. So actually I do recommend doing it through the spreadsheet just for the simple fact that you have this option here where you can decide where you want the coupon to be or who you want the coupon to be available for. This will run on Amazon only. Uh, this will run on Fresh only. This will run on Amazon or Amazon Fresh. Okay, so here you're gonna set up your coupon name, your website only name, and here they actually give you an example. So again, just trying to be descriptive about what the product is. And they've actually got a little mistake here where they, they're saying this is the identifier on Vendor Central for both columns. But so maxed length to 50 characters. Okay, so this is basically, again, like I mentioned before, like the title of the product that you're gonna make. So customers see this text with your coupon and all the automated merchandising. For example, their coupon page. If left blank, we will use the product name of the ASIN you are promoting. If you are promoting multiple ASINs, we will arbitrarily pick one ASIN, okay? So I would recommend judging from what they show on the coupon page is about 43 characters in length for that description that you have. Be as descriptive as you can using those characters. A lot of times the first, you know, few words of your title is, are the most important keywords, but you know, play around with that. It could depend, maybe you wanna, insert another keyword that's not normally in your title. And so they won't just automatically randomly pull that title in. So I'll actually put something in here. Vendor invoice code, all right. So you'll enter that in here. SKUs and ASINs. So you're gonna drop all the SKUs and ASINs that you want this coupon set up for in here. And you'll basically just only separate them by comma as they're saying here. Okay, then again, your budget. Same as before, start date and end date, and you'll do fixed discount or percent discount. Again, leave the other one blank if you don't want that option, then once per customer. So again, even though this is a reorder, you could just make it one time only, not all the time. And again, here you can pick which area of Amazon you actually want it to show. And they're just gonna select whether you want this to be one redemption for a customer or not. Again, true if you actually want this to be just for one time only. If 
false if it's just any time you want. False if they if you want them to be able to just re redeem it over and over again, say even a week later if they decide to buy another one. Okay, and then pick whatever platform, as I said, that you want it to be shown on, whether it be Amazon, Amazon Fresh, or both. Again, that's the cool thing about this: you can do that here versus that single setup doesn't give you that option, that additional option. Kind of strange, uh, not the same in Seller Central. So in this type, it's specifically, again, for setting up a coupon for people that you want to reorder the product only. Similar as before, you're gonna set up your internal name here. You're gonna set up the actual title that you want to show on the coupon discounts page. Again, it's saying 250 characters, and in this case, you have only one option because this is the reorder type. I guess ROC is reorder customer. Okay, so you can just automatically select that and fill that in. Scrolling on over, fill in the rest. Again, drop in all the ASINs that you want. One detail here is they are saying only drop in the parent ASINs. Okay, it's one detail every. And that's a little bit different in comparison to Seller Central, where you can just drop in a single child ASIN if you only wanted it to be on a certain variation on a listing. In Vendor Central, in this scenario, they're not giving that option. So again, drop in parent ASINs only in this section here. Okay, and again, separated by comma. Okay, and then budget. Set the budget, just as we discussed before. Start date, end date fixed discount or percent off and you're all set. One other thing to note is they used to have this all on one spreadsheet with a lot more options. So they've simplified this a little bit to, you know, separate it out. So if you're just trying to set up reorder coupons, you get that specific spreadsheet. And if you're just trying to do the normal style of coupons for one time first purchase and subscribe and save, you use the other spreadsheet. So they've done that to kind of clean things up, probably make things a little bit easier when you're creating the coupons. Okay, so the last step will be to just go ahead and save the spreadsheet and you're gonna go back to the coupon setups page and you're just going to go ahead and upload the spreadsheet here. So you just browse, select the spreadsheet and go ahead and upload. Oh, and one last note is the coupons will be live 24 hours after submission. In Seller Central, it's as little as six hours after submission, but here you just have to wait a little bit longer. All right, guys, so I hope you got a lot of value out of the video. And if you did, definitely drop me a like. And if you're not on Vendor Central and you know someone is, definitely send this video over to them. I think it's a really important strategy to be doing whether you're on Vendor Central or Seller Central. Also, if you are on Seller Central and you need to learn how to set up a coupon for that platform, you can check out the link down in the description below where I made a video for that. All right, guys, until next time, see you in the next one.